let's get started. As a habit, I always have my pens and pen cushions, even if I don't use them. I use my thread snips for cutting thread. I'm using a contrasting color thread, so it could easily be seen for this demonstration. Sewing wax is optional. This helps with the tangles that happen, that can happen during hand sewing. Let's make sure we have a single threaded needle, no longer than 18 inches. I use a needle threader to thread the needle. This measuring tool helps me to keep this hem even. Our iron, making sure it's on the proper setting for the fabric that we are using. Let's start with the raw edges of the fabric. Turn up about an eighth of an inch, making sure that you iron as you go. Here I'm ironing with a measuring tool to make sure the hem is perfectly straight. We will also want to finger press as we go. A little more or less depending on the fabric. Now that we have an eighth of an inch across, we can focus on the actual hem. I like my hem to be anywhere from one and a half inches up to two inches, depending on what I'm making. Let's measure all the way across. We're gonna make this hem one inch. So there's no guessing, we're gonna measure. Always use some sort of measuring tool. Now let's sew, using the very basic yet sturdy whip stitch, moving from right to left all the way to the end. Let's start by burying the tail, coming up on the underside of the folded edge. Bring the needle through. Swing over, grab a tiny pinch, Move down to the fold and grab a tiny pinch there also. Now we can see the diagonal lines forming. Continue this pattern all the way till the end. On the fashion side of the fabric, you don't see any stitches, even though I used a contrasting thread color. There you have it. We can use the whip stitch to hem pants, sleeves, jackets, and several other items. 